the Danan Ultras heading to Pyongyang. After the victory against Tanzania, we've soared to a record 170th place in the world rankings. Our best previous ranking was 190th in August 2018. Who's going to be Djiboutian Footballer of the Year? Is it going to be Knox Milford? Is it going to be Gashlik? Goal Goal won it. For Ali Sabia, of course, Ali Sabia are running away with the title. Cabs, Cabs is in third place here, and yet he's still not in the national team setup. I can't wait until we walk out of the tunnel at Pyongyang. Everybody's clapping in the stadium because the almighty ruler is there in attendance. Gol Gol has faked an injury to get out of the trip to North Korea, and to be honest, I don't blame it. There's one big player that's come out of the regen intake this year, and it's Milton Abdi Daher, and he's a really good player already. 74 current ability, potential ability. Well, it's of a top Premier League player, 160 potential ability. I guess this is genuinely the first Djiboutian superstar that could happen. I mean, like, he could easily go to Europe and be very good. Still, he won't be chosen for Djibouti because Deco just doesn't like the look of him. I want to enjoy this match. It looks like it's been played on a synthetic surface. Mind you, with all the radiation caused by the bombs, I'm sure grass can't grow there anymore. If we win this game, we're definitely going to die. So it's a good job that North Korea are leading. Rang Myung Il. Okay, everybody seems motivated from Deco's team talk. You're all doing well, boys. Keep on losing this. And we're all right. We survive. We can get on the plane. And it's all good. Djibouti have done all right on the road against North Korea. Here's the list of friendlies for this year. We've got the Seychelles away, Mongolia away, American Samoa at home, Madagascar away, Brunei at home, Tonga away, Samoa at home, and Bermuda away. And already... The friendly match against Mongolia has been cancelled. Ali Sabi are looking to do a double this year because they're in the Djibouti Cup final against the Arta Panthers. We've got another really difficult group in the African Cup of Nations. Go on, Cabs. Whip in. Abdi. Is he onside? Oh my. Read this scoreline. Togo nil. Djibouti won. Go! Go! To make it 2-1! <gasps> This Saeed guy, Jackson said. <laughs> Jackson said. Jackson Saeed with his. Well, that must be two goals in a game for Djibouti. Quality stuff. Oh, save. That's just a tap in, though. Togo a back level. Floyd Aite. Don't let it end on a negative note. And Lapa hits the post. Still 3 2. It's still doable. We just need a goal. Oh, Sunu, that's five. Gashleg seems to have lost his place. And it'll probably be the end of it. I mean, like, I can't see him returning now. Forget that Togo had 23 shots to our three. Great determination there, lads. How have we dropped that far? We play North Korea and Togo. At least having looked like they're playing in the away strip. Oh, it's Panthers in the home. I don't know why that has happened. But go on then. Ali Sabia against Arta Panthers. In the Djibouti Cup final. Goal, goal, of course, playing for Ali Sabia. Second half begins. It's not been a good Djibouti Cup final, but you can't expect all of them to be good Djibouti Cup finals. Come on, fine goal, goal. Oh, no, that's a lovely little finish. And it's one of the free agent draft players that might have given Ali Sabia the boost that they needed to win the league, to win the cup. To be dominant in Djibouti. That's it anyway. It was a pretty poor Djibouti Cup final. But Ali Sabio on their way to the League and Cup double. Well done, goal. Goal, well done, everybody involved with Ali Sabio. I mean, it makes sense because Ali Sabio, I keep on saying it. They are a proper team in Djibouti before we ripped it up. And they are one of the best, if not the best, in the whole history of Djibouti. They've even got their own stadium, lads. Everybody else plays in the national stadium. Now, these guys have got their own stadium in Ali Sabia. What's happened in the leagues? I hear you ask. Djibouti Premier Division, Ali Sabia champions, 87 points. Going down and Dolly Dragons, Gobeta Town and Fagel Rovers. In Djibouti Division 1, the holders are Malaho Majestic. Going up and Babo Rapid and Tajora Town. 
Going down, Aerolath, Misadero United and Danato Dynamo. Here's Djibouti Division 2. Danan Rebellion going up with Sankal Sundowns and Kantali Harriers. The worst team of the lot, Balho Brutal. Only getting 37 points from the 40 games. Are you serious? I made a friendly away against the Seychelles. And then Deco took it upon himself to also organise a friendly away against the Seychelles. Deco wants a holiday, I think. Yeah, I think so. Deco loves the Seychelles. Let's get the Seychelles very undone. Yes! It's Jackson Saeed again! We're back to playing the lovely game of when we score, we'll let you score. Don't worry about it, mate. It's fine. Our defence are made out of paper bikes. Well, it's 1-1 away against Seychelles. Time to do it all over again. Three days' time, we'll be back on the pitch, playing the same team. Thank you, Deco. Let's go, Djibouti. Let's go, Djibouti. Free kick, Seychelles. It would be very bad to lose against the Seychelles. That's top corner as well. Get that equaliser. Knox Milford plays it back. Liban. Oh, Duola. Come on. Take that ball. Take control, lads. We need a goal. Goal, goal. Come on, Cabs. Make the assist. Cross it in. Lovely. Yes. Saeed of the post, but he grabs the equaliser. Uh, now we have 40 minutes to collect a winner. No. No. What is with this defence? Why are they so shit? That's it. Down the world rankings we go. Unless we find an equaliser. But even finding an equaliser, I presume that we are going to go down the world rankings. Cabs. Yes! Yes! Great finish by Dula! Yusuf Dula! Come on, 20 minutes! 20 minutes! Cabs has been excellent on that wing. Mazag. Great ball. Udo. Yeah, give it to Cabs every single time. Oh! Oh, take the shot! Yes! Cabs has scored! Right at the end! Cabs! Yes! It's the Seychelles 2, Djibouti 3! What a great game of football! Thank you very much, Deco. This was a great shout! Bit of that Djibouti and heart, the Djibouti and comeback. Seychelles 2, Djibouti 3. We stay up in them world rankings, we don't want to drop back. Down to like 190th. So Golgol is now the most capped player in Djibouti in history. He's made his 23rd international appearance in the recent match against the Seychelles. In the free agent draft this year, there seem to be Djibouti players without clubs. We've got Eddie Rose, national team. Johannes Lebaume, he's a national team player. Oliver Ilias, he's made eight appearances for the national team. Some quality players around. Bissadiro, Day Forest, Dick Hill, Djibouti City, Gobeto Town, they all collect two players from this free agent draft. Horizon, Malaho, Randa and Yaboki, also teams that pick up players. But there are a lot of teams that are missing out this year. And Hull Hull, my team, haven't collected a single player through three seasons. Seems like we missed a guy, and it's Eddie Rose. A defender for Djibouti. We've got one more chance here. Generate the number. Number 12, Obok Wanderers. Okay, everybody who's been watching on YouTube and in the chat, live streamed on Twitch. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'm gone now. Going to be editing this up through the night, including last season as well, that we recorded a few days ago. And hopefully they hit YouTube um, tomorrow, which is the Thursday. Thursday the 27th.